In this video, we'll look at the best WooCommerce wholesale plugins available on the market right now. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first on our list is WooSuite's wholesale plugin. So with this wholesale plugin, you get numerous options such as a quick order form, tiered pricing and dynamic pricing rules as well, request a quote, conditional shipping and payments, tax exemption and so much more. So instead of just reading from this list, let's jump in the back end and see exactly what you get with WooSuite's wholesale plugin. So here we are in our dashboard and once you've activated your license key, you'll be taken to this page here. So here we can see that our license key has been successfully activated and then here we can go ahead and install the wholesale component to our website. So we just click this button here and then here we choose whether we want to set up a B2B only site or whether we want to set up a B2B and a B2C site. So I'm going to select this one here, click next. And then here, because I've already pre-set up this site, you've got the option to choose all the different components in which you want to add to your wholesale website. So if you'll be having a um, sales agent, then you want to install this module. If you're going to have a request a quote function, you go ahead and add this module. So you just quickly um, pick and choose all the different options in which you'll require for your website. So if you'll be displaying lead times as well, you go ahead and add this option here. So where it says activated, it means like, as I said, I've already set up um, this store. So a lot of the modules I've already got them set up and activated. So once you've chose your selection here, just go ahead and click next. Okay. And then we will click next again and it will take us through the installation process. Okay. And there you can see our installation has been successfully installed. So that's perfect. So we can go ahead and click finish. Okay, perfect. And then here we are on our WooSuite dashboard. So this is a default dashboard. So here we've got some useful information such as how many B2B customers we've added recently. And here we can go ahead and toggle the selection as well for the user role in which we want the data to display. So we can see how many wholesale applications we've currently got, how many new quotes we've received, and we can also see the revenue breakdown by a different user roles. So we've got this quick view area here so we can see the user applications which are currently pending so we can see there's a user called Ben registering as a wholesale customer we can see the time and date in which they're registered and we can see the status of their application so we can click through and view more information on this particular customer or we can choose to approve or reject their application so there's also an email notification sent out as well so again let's go ahead and navigate to our home page and let's see exactly what we've got on this site Okay, so we've got a few tiered pricing options here, which I've already pre-configured. Okay, so here's our tiered pricing and there's a difference as well between um, tiered based pricing and volume based pricing. This plugin allows you to do both, but there's a lot of other plugins which advertise a tiered pricing when it's actually volume based pricing. So just be careful with that. So this is actually tiered based pricing, meaning the user will get the price within each tier. So say for example, if a user purchased 10 items, so the first items, they'll get it for this amount. And then obviously the last five items, they'll get it for this amount as well. So that's tiered based pricing. Volume based pricing would be if, for example, a user order 10, then they'll get all 10 items for this particular um, amount here. It's just a subtle difference that I think a lot of plugin authors get confused on. Okay. So we have an option as well to enable decimal prices. We can set a minimum order amount or a maximum order amount as well. We can set the increments and all these things, we can do it based on a different user role. So for example, so for wholesale customers, we can have a minimum amount of 10 or any number. And for the retail customers, maybe we won't apply any minimum order amounts for their orders. Okay, so we've got the wholesale pricing as well. So we can create a separate pricing for different user roles. So we can set like one pricing for our wholesale customers, another for our retailers, another for our distributors and so on as well. We can set up a quick order form. So there's various options in creating your order form. It's fully customizable. So here I've got a basic order form showing. We can configure the column. We can configure the styling. We can also add a matrix grid. Okay, and by the time this video is released, you'll also have the option to add a matrix grid just like this. So it just makes it more convenient for your users to quickly add the particular variations in which you want to their order basket. Okay, so this is our quick order form. So this mini cart here is powered by the WooSuite cart shortcode. We've got various filtering options as well. 
So we can customize the filters. So here we've got a few basic filters such as category um, based on the attributes. So you can add the filters based on custom fields. You can configure the sorting and there's so much more. I'll be here forever if I try to explain each individual features. But just know that your quick order form is fully customizable. Okay, so as well for the wholesale application, so you've got an option to create various different um, fields. So you can create a standard text field, date picker, um, country field, um, color picker, <laughs> and so much more. There's a, there's a long list of things you can do with your wholesale um, application page as well. So by default, you've got two options when it comes to your wholesale application form. So you've got the option to utilize the default WooCommerce registration field, meaning you can add like a role picker. So for example, the user can self identify whether they want to create a um, retail account or a wholesale account. And then based on the selections, you have the option to show different fields to that particular user as well. Regarding the wholesale application form as well. So you've got a few options so you can so when a user submit their wholesale application You've got the option to automatically approve their application or you can set it as pending and you can create um, various email automation to update the user and the store manager at each step of the way so when there's a new application submitted you can automatically send out an email to the store manager to review the application and you can also automatically send out an email as well to the wholesaler to let them know how things are progressing just to keep them in the loop as to what's going on with their application so that's the um, wholesale registration page there's a restriction rules module where you can restrict certain menu items certain categories certain products you can even password protect certain products as well so there's a numerous amount of things you can do with that for the tax exemption rule so you've got various conditions let me go ahead and navigate to our dashboard and i'll show you exactly what i mean so when we navigate to tax exemption rules, so we've got the option to specify how we want the tax to be displayed. So let's say for example, for retail customers, you wanna show them prices, including taxes, right? So you can do this with this tax um, display tab. And then maybe for your wholesale customers, you wanna show them the price excluding taxes. Okay, so you can do that here and also when it comes to tax exemption so you can create various advanced conditional rules so here i've set up a rule to give wholesalers within a uk tax exemption so here i've set the settings to the user role is a wholesale customer and the country is the uk so you can add various um, rules like that as well you can specify um, by the user role the specific user you can single out a specific product categories countries and what's also popular is coupon as well so this is super handy let's say for example you sell one-off products right meaning that a customer will only buy from you once in a lifetime there's no need for you to have them create an account with yourselves since it's just a one-off purchase so in this case if you know that they're a wholesale customer maybe you just want to send them a coupon code which will give them that tax exemption so this is how you do that you'd select coupon here and then just select a particular coupon and then whenever a user use that coupon code their order will be tax exempt so that's a powerful feature which so far to date i haven't seen any other um, plugins offer that option so that's a nifty feature as well okay and regarding our dynamic pricing rules so we can create various different pricing options say for example spend over a thousand dollars and we'll give you um, 10 percent off or something like that you can have a rule like that for your wholesale customers and then at the same time you can have another rule for your retail customers as well so how you we've got many different um, videos showing exactly how to set up these various rules so you just give it a name this is just for internal purposes and then you can give a discount based on a cart total or a category total then you get to choose who you want this rule to apply to. So everyone, guest users, a specific user role or a specific user. Um, you've got the option as well to toggle this option. If you want this rule to only apply to first time buyers, you can go ahead and select that there. You can also schedule this promotion as well to run within a given date period. So you can set the minimum um, amount that the user needs to order to um, be able to redeem this offer. 
and also you can set a maximum amount as well so you can use the asterisk symbol for and above so we can set the discount type the percentage and then we can go ahead and enter in an amount here as well if you wanted you could create different quantity breaks as well so spend over 200 to 400 dollars get five percent off spend 500 to a thousand get 10 percent off and so on okay so for the checkout fees as well so you can add extra charges um to the checkout based on the payment selected the shipping selected or the user role as well so in this tab we've got um, user role discount so you can offer um, a flat discount to users matching a specific user role same again for categories and then in this advanced rules tab you can create various discounts so you can create buy one get one free offers you can create a um, bundled um, discount so for example or buy two for x amount um, dollars so it seems complicated i've created videos um, documenting how to set up all these different discount rules so it's it's very straightforward so again you just add your title for internal purposes and i'm just going to go ahead and create a a bundled discount rule i'll show you how to create a bundled discount rule for our in our, within our air purifying category so where it says category counts so we'll be so this is a trigger so the user needs to purchase a set amount of product within this category and we'll give them the discount we'll apply the discount on products within this category so we can choose multiple categories as well but just to keep it simple i'm going to create a bundled discount within our air purifying category and in here we'll get to choose who we want this um, offer to apply to so we can select a specific user role and in here we can select our wholesale customer okay and then for the processing mode we'll select um, bulk bundle discount and we can schedule this offer but i'm just going to leave it blank so i'm going to say buy free item for a hundred dollars right so the user can buy can select any free items within this category and they'll only pay a um, hundred dollars for it so for the discount name i'll just say free for hundred dollars and then we can hit publish and that rule will run only to our wholesale customers so you can create complex rules like this you can create a volume or tiered based pricing um, based on a particular category as well you can also customize it on the product level for the export tab you can bulk import and export the rules as well okay then in this options tab we've got a few different settings here okay so for our discount pricing we can go ahead and exclude the rule from running on items which are already discounted okay and we automatically create a pricing table a pricing table similar to this one so if you didn't want to show it um, on a product page or maybe in your quick order form then in this settings tab here you can just go ahead and disable it so there's a few more options which isn't showing currently because i'm using an older version but in a newer version as well we've got a extra option to showing users the amount they've saved so for example on this product page here if a user was to enter in so if the user was to enter in six here then there would be a message here showing them exactly how much they've saved on this particular order as well you can do the same in a basket this isn't showing on this current version that i've got i'm using an older version but i think you get the idea you can create complex um, pricing rules to obviously give the users a great shopping experience but to also maximize your average order value as well and give users an incentive to spend more with yourself okay so now we'll just look at an example of a product which is currently password protected okay so here we are on this product page and as you can see this product is password protected so if we're entering the password here then we'll have access to view this um, product okay again we can enter in um, conditional shipping options so for example if it's a wholesale customer then maybe you want to disable um, certain shipping method that's available to the retail customers and vice versa a similar thing with the payment method as well so if it's a wholesale customer maybe you don't want to allow them to pay via paypal so maybe you want to restrict like paypal and a few other payment methods to your wholesale customer so you can do that as well there's also stock management so for example you can allocate um certain stock to your retail customers and to your wholesale customers and any other um different customers you've got so you might have a wholesale customer tier one wholesale customer tier two tier three and so on or you might have a wholesale 
customers and then you might have distributors and so on so you've got the option to control um, the stock so how many stock you'll be allocating to those different user groups okay so there's also the sales agent option which I think this video is running on quite a bit so we won't cover that too much but there's an entire um, sales agent dashboard so your sales rep can go ahead and place orders on behalf of the customers you can offer them commission based on how much they've sold you can offer them a sign up bonus so whenever they sign up a new customer you can offer them a bonus um, and so much more move on to the second plugin on the list and that one would be my second choice would be b2b king this is an excellent plugin it's got similar features to the WooSuite wholesale plugins okay so we've got um, the option to hide prices from guest users WooSuite wholesale plugin has that also product display visibility so product visibility control so you can specify to hide um, products from certain users again we sweet wholesale has that also you can hide the entire shop again we sweet wholesale has that also okay so let's point out some of the features that maybe is not included in the previous plugin mentioned change currency change currency by user role so that's not included with we sweet wholesale Okay, so far I think I think that's the only that's the only difference. Um, so coupon restriction as well. I didn't mention that with WooSuite Wholesale, so it also has that. So you can restrict um, certain coupons via user group or a specific user. You can do that in both B two B King and WooSuite Wholesale. Okay, so we'll move on to the third and final plugin, which is Wholesale Pro by Bantu. Okay, so with this plugin you can create. Um, a wholesale order form okay and you've got the option as well to create um, wholesale pricing okay so they give you the option to create um, different wholesale roles and you can set different pricing per wholesale role so both B2B King and WooSuite Wholesale has this feature also um, they give you an option as well to create a registration form one page ordering form again the previous two plugin has that as well um, let's try find something that I don't have. Um, okay, yeah, right. I can't. I can't find anything. If you can find something, leave it in the comment um, below. But yeah, my third option is um, Wholesale Pro by Barn Two Plugins. So just to recap, we looked at WeSuite Wholesale. We looked at B Two B King, and we looked at um, Wholesale Pro by Barn Two Plugins. And those are the best WooCommerce wholesale plugin, in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.